So chapter 6, you have, uh, you have these pages in front of you. Chapter 6 and 7, we're talking about uh, finances, okay? Budgets, financial services, anything to do with money, uh, loans and uh, mortgages and bank accounts. So that's what the last two chapters are about, financial services. So the first thing we're going to talk about here in 6.1 is choosing an account, okay? So how many of you guys have a bank account right now? Have a checking account? Okay, all of you. Okay, that's great. So you have, um, uh, you, you probably have a bank card, right? A debit card. Uh, maybe you have checks. I don't know if you have, a, you have checks or not. But anyway, so you know a little bit about uh, a bank account and what that's like having one. So let's talk about um, different options for bank accounts, different costs related to bank accounts. Hopefully you know all this, but maybe, maybe you don't even know all the costs or maybe some of the details of your own bank account. So let's see what's out there. So we'll look at different banking options and services in Canada in this section. It'll be useful, even if you have a bank account, to be familiar with your banking services. There's different types of accounts by different banks. Um, each bank has its own particular names for accounts, but more often than not, you'll see a checking account and a savings account. Okay, Those are the two main ones, checking and savings. Different fees and interests are attached to each type of account. Um, and each account allows for different types and numbers of transactions. Uh, in order to earn interest, some accounts require a minimum balance. So this minimum balance part here, um, that means that if your balance gets below a certain minimum level that they've set, then you might owe some extra fees. Or if you keep enough money in there all the time, maybe they'll waive a certain fee or something like that, that you won't have to pay it. Again, the bank likes having your money, right? Okay, so banks also offer different services called uh, uh, self-service automated teller machines. Okay, these ATMs were actually invented and first installed right here in Saskatchewan. So that's pretty cool. Um, and full service at the bank with the help of a teller as well. So an automated teller at the machine, or you can go to the teller and have a real person help you as well. To use an ATM, you need a bank card and a PIN number. That's a personal identification number. It's actually just a PIN, not really a PIN number a PIN, personal identification number. All right, so let's take a look at um, this, this graphic right here, okay? So you're on that page there. So this is the Northwest Bank of Canada Services Package. I'm assuming this is kind of a made-up bank. And these are the different things that are involved here with this, uh, this account. So a monthly fee, okay. So on the different types of accounts at this bank, you have different monthly fees. So a value account, so this is the first type of account, a value account, you would have a $3.90 uh, monthly fee. So they charge a service fee for anybody that uses their, their bank sort of thing. Some of them have those fees waived, and we'll see later. A self-service account, okay, that's a little bit higher fee, full service, and then a bonus savings account has no fee. So the second row says the fee is waived on a monthly, mm, sort of minimum monthly balance. So in this value account, if you keep more than $1,000 in that account at all times throughout the month, they will not charge you that fee, okay? A self-service account, you have to have a little bit more money in there all the time, uh, just sitting in there for them to waive the fee and same for the full service. All right, so transactions. Now I'll just zoom in on this because it's maybe a little tougher to read. But the transactions covered by the monthly fee. Okay, so these are different types of transactions. Um, checks. So you can write a check and give a check to someone and they can go and cash it. Um, we don't do a whole lot of that anymore. Um, there's uh, you know e-transfers and different online ways of transferring money without the actual paper checks now. So, so uh, more and more people are getting away from checks for sure. Uh, withdrawals, okay, if you go to a bank or to an ATM and you withdraw cash, that is considered a transaction. Bill payments, if you pay online with online banking or different things like that. Debit purchases, if you use your debit card every time you use it, that's a transaction. And transfers to other um, Northwest Bank of Canada accounts, if you move money from your checking to your saving, that's considered a transaction. So there are a number of different types of transactions that you can make in your account. So the value one is 10 self-service, and then this one is 25, and then this one is 40. So the more you're paying per month, the more transactions they'll allow you and all this sort of stuff. 
So if you go over those allowable number of transactions, then um, they're going to have a fee. So there's a 50 cent fee if you go over for the self-service and a one dollar for teller assisted and so on. So there's different prices uh, for that. If you use an ATM that's not part of their this bank, then there will be an extra 150 charge for these two accounts, but not for, for these ones. And then interest, um, okay, so it says over here for the savings, daily interest grows with your balance, okay. So those are the different fees and different options that you have for the different types of accounts at this bank, okay. So example one says this, um, in one month, Mary makes two deposits and five cash withdrawals at Northwest Bank ATMs. She pays four bills online. She maintains a balance over $1,000. Calculate her fees for each of the accounts. Which account would you advise her to use? So in this example, we're going to test um, what her cost would be given this activity here with two different accounts. Now I just I did put this on here. I um, probably should show you that earlier, but remember I said that the ATM, the credit union, Saskatchewan Credit Union were really the first to um, to put uh, ATMs into into service there. So it's kind of a, a homegrown uh, thing here. You see them all over the world there now. So carrying on with example one, as we look at the solution here, uh, it says this. Okay, so here's her here's the example, and. Here's what you want to do. You want to find out how many self-service transaction, transactions Mary makes. So two deposits, and you can just follow along your book or just watch a period of the matter. But she makes two deposits, so there's that two. Five withdrawals, there is the five. And she pays four bills online, so that's four uh, transactions there. So that's a total of 11, okay? So for the value account, the, f the $3.90... Uh, cent fee is waived. Why is it waived? Why does she not have to pay that? Because why? She maintains a balance over a thousand dollars. It says right here. So she doesn't ever dip below a thousand dollars. If she dipped below a thousand dollars, boom, her monthly fee would kick in. Okay. The account covers ten self-service transactions, and how many did she make? Eleven. So Mary will be charged for the eleventh transaction, so that's fifty cents. So she's got no three ninety fee, right? Um, and but she owes fifty cents for this one extra transaction. See that? So with the value account, she owes fifty cents. Okay, that's the uh, that's the uh, the amount for the value account. So the self service account, she pays this fee, okay, because it is not waived because she did not keep a balance over fifteen hundred. So she's going to have to pay $10.90. We know that already. The account offers 25 free transactions. So all of Mary's transactions are covered. Her total cost is $10.90. So you can kind of see the difference there between the total monthly cost with the same activity. So which would you, <laughs> which would you suggest that she get? Of those two, we're looking at the value account. But what about the full service? So let's keep going. So she pays 2400 bucks. It's not waived because she doesn't keep a balance over 2000. She's got 40 free self-service, so all those are covered. Her fees for this one 2450. The bonus savings account, there's no monthly fee, but only two debit transactions are free. So she made 11, so she has a cost for 9 of them. And her total cost is going to be nine times the fee per transaction. So here's two debit transactions. Each one over that is a buck twenty-five for the savings. So you'll find that with savings, they don't like you digging in there. The savings account is meant for you to put money in and leave it in there, and not really be in and out and paying bills. And a savings account is just for letting your money sit in there. That's kind of what it's for. The checking account. They'll charge you a little bit more, but you get to do more with it. In, out, money can go in and out, and they generally won't bother you. Okay? So, we're looking at, looks like the value account, right? So Mary should use the value account because she virtually pays nothing there with that kind of activity. So, now, let's translate that into your assignment that I gave you. Okay? So here is a question, this is question number two, and I give you all the information there similar to what 
you have on your paper that we just went over. So this is the question. Your checking account is a monthly fee of 1095. If your balance is ever below a thousand, uh, is hmm. Yeah, if it's ever below a thousand, but waived or not charged to you if your balance is greater than a thousand every month, over the month. So you get the first five transactions free. Each transaction over the five is fifty cents each, and so on. ATM from another bank, it's a dollar fee. You receive a small interest payment for having money in your bank account. So for A, you want to compare A and B given that information. So calculating your monthly cost for A. So your lowest balance is $1,400. So you compare that to the minimum balance, and that is over the minimum balance. So guess what? You do not get charged this fee. So you know that right away. You have seven transactions. Well, you're only allowed five. So there's two transactions that are worth 50 cents each. It's a two that are 50 cents each, that's one dollar. Yeah. Okay, you use ATM from another bank two times, so guess what? You've got two dollars here, right, for using another bank's ATM. And, but the interest paid to you was 34 cents. So you owe here and you owe here, but you get money back here. So, right, so your cost would be the cost for these two transactions out of there, for the using the ATM two times, and then you subtract this because that's money you get, so you don't have to pay that. So you would do that for A and for B, and compare the costs for both. Okay. So again, um, if you don't have this uh, assignment right in front of you here, you can. If you're watching the video and you want to, uh, you know, do this assignment at home here, you can just pause the video and and do that here now. But that's part of your financial services assignment. All right, so let's do this question uh, together and see how we fare. So we're going to use the Northwest Bank um, service packages that we just talked about. And we're going to take a look at the cost for the value account, excuse me, and the self-service account for Frederick here. So Frederick makes two direct deposits per month and pays four bills online. Last month, he also made five cash withdrawals and 10 debit purchases with his bank card. Okay, so that's the number of transactions. We can add all those up, looks like, right? So we've got two plus four plus five plus 10. So what's that? Two and five is seven, four is 11. So we've got 21 transactions. Does that sound right? Does that sound right? 21, so 2 and 5 and 10 and 4. Okay, um, he maintains a minimum monthly balance of $1,500. So that's good, he's got at least $1,500 in there all month. Calculated his service charges is for the month if he had a value account. Okay, so now do I have that? Okay, I'm gonna have to pop back to the previous page there. Okay, so the value account. Okay, monthly fee. Does he, uh, is the monthly fee waived for him? Is it? He keeps 1500 bucks in there. So no fee. Okay, so no monthly fee. Okay, that's good. Um, what else do we know here? Let's see. Oh, he gets 10 self-service and for all the other self-service over 10, it's 50 cents each. So if there were teller-assisted ones, those are more expensive. So let's just check. So we've got 21 transactions. Were all of these self-service? Cash withdrawals? Yeah, with his bank card. Okay. So how many are we paying for here? He gets 10, right? And we've got 21. So this is 11 transactions times... So 50 cents each, correct? So what's that going to be? Half of 11 is so five and a half. So five dollars and fifty cents for those 11 transactions. We good with that? Okay. Are there any other any other fees that we haven't calculated here yet? Let's see. Did he use a, a ATM with another bank? Let's see. 
Um, doesn't look like he did. Okay. So it looks like the total um, the total amount is five dollars and fifty cents. Does that look right? Okay. With the value account. Okay. What about the self service account? Okay. So there's some different details with the self service, right? So there's a ten ninety fee. Uh, but it's waived if he keeps over 1500 and remember he kept at least 1500 bucks so he has no monthly fee there as well so no monthly fee here either okay so we still had 21 transactions so let's see 21 transactions oh look at this he gets up to 25 so there's no cost for his transactions see that oh where's my Okay, so no cost for these transactions. No transaction cost. Okay, so are we missing anything else? Two direct deposits, four bills online, minimum balance. Okay, so what's his what's his cost for this self service account? Nothing. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's anything. So. So that's a, that's a pretty good deal, 0, 0.00. All right. So it's a good thing he's got a self-service account if, if this was what uh, his month looked like. Okay? All right. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I want you guys to do number two and number three on your own here. And any time left over, you'll have some time left over. Uh, you can uh, finish your assignment. So you can finish this assignment that I've given you. Financial services assignment due tomorrow. Okay. Any questions? You guys are good? Okay. So you have the rest of the class to work on this assignment and questions one, two, and three. And if you get those done, you can push ahead and do the do some more questions in your workbook there.